Hey guys, welcome to Easy Programming, an initiative for a common man to learn programming. This is the lecture number 5 for the series of C language tutorials. In the previous lecture we have learned if else statement, if else if statement, conditional operators, demonstration of conditional statement and operators in a comprehensive way. In this content we will learn loop, for loop, while loop, do while loop and demonstration of loops. Okay, what is loop? Loop means repetition. Repetition when you want to repeat something, loop is used. Loop in programming. In programming, loop is used when you want to execute some statements in a sequence and in repetition you specify your statements in the body of the loop and the loop executes multiple times and why loop is used as I told you that loop is used for repetition and what are the type of the loops for loop, while loop, do while loop for loop what is for loop? When it is used, how to use for loop, syntax for for loop and use to for for loop. Let's see in the compiler. Here is the compiler. This is the syntax of the for loop. These numbers 1, 2, 4 and 3. These are not the part of the syntax, they are just for the understanding. So here we start. For for is a reserve word, it is a keyword predefined and this is the header of the for loop. This is the header, blue one. This is the header. And the header contains three statements. There are three parts of the header. First is the initialization second is the condition third is the increment and decrement and this is the statements initialization what is initialization initialization as I told you that we initialize or we declare our counter variable here is the condition on which we check whether to run the statement or not this is the increment or decrement statement it increments or decrements the counter and this is the statement ok the flow of the for loop is like this first of all this statement is executed this is statement is executed only once in the loop only once rest of the loop is checked time by time when this is initialized it can checks the condition if it is true then the condition after checking the condition the control terms to the third this is third statements the statement is executed and then the fourth one counter variable is updated and then again two condition is checked if it is true statement is executed then increment or decrement then again condition again statement and again the increment decrement I show you from the code this is the code these are the header files this is the function main this is the counter variable declaration let the know about the compiler that counter is a variable that will be used in <coughs> the program so for is the your for is a keyword counter here is the initialization counter this is the condition this is the increment decrement operator the plus plus means that unary increment unit increment single increment this is a statement we want to execute in repetition so first of all this is one this is two 
this is 4 and this is 3 so this is counter counter value is 1 check the condition 1 is less than or equal to 10 this is true if it is true then it will print the value of the counter again increment increment the counter by 1 now the counter value is 2 2 check the condition 2 is less than 10 yes correct print 2 now 3 now 3 is less than 10 true this is so this is the repetition in the last repetition when the counter is 10 here the counter will be 11 11 is less than equal to 10 it is false the loop is skipped and the control transfer outside the loop this is get checked and this is return now first of all compile this yes it is done now run This is the output of this program 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this is the output. It prints the counter value. If you want to print the value 1 to 10 without loop, you have to specify 10 printf statement. And it is a bit time consuming task and if you want to print 10,000 statements then you will not able to write down 10,000 printf statements so loop is used for time saving and the for convenience of the programmer so this is the output of the program so let's see this is the while loop what is while loop why and it is used how to use the while loop syntax and the use of the while loop so let's see the compiler this is the syntax of the while loop initialization is done before the loop in for loop initialization is done in the loop header but in the while loop before the loop header this is the while keyword like for this is while this is the condition which is to be checked time by time and this is a statement and the increment decrement statement we want to run in the loop so what is the control here the compiler will initialize the variable of the counter and here the condition will be checked if the, this condition is true then these statements will be executed otherwise the loop will be skipped then this is statement this is increment decrement this is a condition so it will run in the this step one and this is two this is three this is also three then again two 2 3 2 3 2 3 so here is the flow of the program so this is the now I show you the code these are the header files this is the main function this is the initialization of the counter variable this is the declaration and this is the initialization counter is equal to 1 here is the keyword while here is this the this is the condition counter is less than or equal to 10 and this is the statement and this is the increment or decrement state the program will execute like this counter will be 1 the condition will be checked one is either one is less than or equal to 10 or not if it is true then this statement will be executed and if it is wrong the loop will be skipped so check 1 1 is less than equal to 10 true print the value of the counter that is 1 and increment it by 1 that is 2 2 is less than equal to 10 if it is true 
then print these statements and it will continue like this and in the last repetition 10 is less than or equal to 10 it is true and it will be executed then the counter variable will change the value by 1 now the counter will be 11 11 is less than or equal to 10 that is a wrong statement so this condition will be false and the loop will skip and then this is the so it will do the same thing like the for loop do so execute compile this state is done without zero error so this is the same output of the while dot exe it displays the same output So in the next we'll see the do while loop. What is a do while loop? When it is used and how to use the do while loop, syntax of the do while loop and the use of do while loop. So do while loop loop is also used for the repetitions and it is also used in the C language. So I show you the syntax of this loop. So here is the initialization like the while variable and this is the keyword do it is mandatory do is the keyword it is a reserve word that is predefined and this is the body of the loop there here we use the while with the condition while is also the keyword here so initialization is this and the do statements and increment decrements and while condition so what is the flow first of all initialization will be done and this Control to transfer in the do. The statement will be the will run, and after this, the condition will be checked. What is the difference between the do while, while, and the for loop? This is noticeable that if the condition is if this is the counter variable with the value 11 in start is 11 and 11 is less than 10 the loop will be skipped this statement will not run even single time in while loop if the counter is 11 the condition will be checked first it is false this statement will not run even single time but in do while loop if the condition is false these conditions these statements will be run at least one time at least one time the code will be executed even if the condition is wrong because in for and while loop the condition is checked first but in do while loop the condition is checked at last so if it is 11 it will be run single time So here is the difference. So I show you the output of the two value. So the same output one to ten. So I show you that the same code is with for loop, while loop and do while loop. So thrice of them show that output is same but the method and the syntax is different. So this is the loop. Now demonstration of for while and do while loop. So here is the demonstration. I show you again that look at the output output is 1 to 10 so this is the output of for loop now see is the while loop the output of while loop is this the same output Do a 
loop is the same output as well so you can do the same task with three methods so what will be the in the next lecture the next lecture will cover the labels go to statements switch statements and pointers pointer is very important thing so the next lecture will be important so post comment like us subscribe us give the feedbacks thank you for your patience and thank you for your watching